Configuring the session state protection. You can put all your effort into providing new users the right links for the correct people, but if you're able to modify the session state by tampering with the URL, you might as well not provide security at all. In 2011, a large bank's customer accounts were breached using this technique. Apex provides the ability to protect from tampering by automatically adding checksums to the URL. For example, if we go into our product search screen and edit our TV tuner, we can take the role ID that's used to identify the record so that when we're editing another record, we could paste it in and instead of editing the memory card, we're now editing the TV tuner instead. So we want to protect from that. So our first step will be to limit which rows our people can edit. So we'll edit this page and modify our SQL to add a new column which will define our edit link. So only if the list price is less than 100 will we allow our users to edit. So go into the report attributes and hide that new column and edit our link. So the column link, instead of being the current icon, we're going to change it to the hashtag link URL, which is the new column we've just added. And that means when we run our page, we only see the edit links or records where the price is under $100. Our next step is to configure session state protection. So head into your application, modify shared components, session state protection, and we're going to set protection. We'll configure it and we'll leave the settings as they are, which means that all pages must have some sort of checksum, including all their items. So now that session state protection is enabled, if we go back into our application, edit our memory card, we now see this checksum appearing at the top, which means that if we try to tamper with our URL, and paste our TV tuner row ID, we get a message saying the checksum that has been computed does not match what was originally used. So you've protected your application in a similar way that many banks have been doing for years. This is highly configurable and you notice that it applies to pages, application items and page items. Session state protection should be one layer of defense of your data. The final two videos in this section look at other avenues of defense.